Hey, how's it going everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Wednesday, April 14th, 2021. We've got a free play coming up in the NBA on this report. First quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, click on that link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account, and then you can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else on the roster at DocSports.com, and it all starts by clicking on the link below the video. Hey, remember Sunday's video or Sunday night's video, we talked about a bad Sunday and we needed to bounce back. Well, since then, we're a perfect 6-0, Monday and Tuesday. 6-0 this week, up almost $2,200 for those wagering, just $100 per unit. Three more plays going today. Going to get to that. First quick note, thanks to those of you who jumped on board. The six-star winner in the NBA last night. We also cashed a 2-0 card in Major League Baseball. We also won in soccer, which kicked everything off for us on Tuesday. Three more plays on Wednesday. If we cash them all, we'll be 9-0 so far this week. And what I've got going on Wednesday on my homepage at DocSports.com. Starting out with daytime action, first five units, or excuse me, first five innings play in Major League Baseball on a Wednesday. We'll look to take those plays to 8-1-1 one, and one on the season thus far on the bases. I've also got a two-team Wednesday parlay in the NHL. We've had three two-teamers in the NHL so far this season. We don't play a ton of them, but we're a perfect 3-0 and thus far. We got one going on Wednesday. And the start of the show for me for the second straight day is the NBA. Got a five star play going in the NBA on Wednesday night. It is backed by a 19 and 5 winning spot, which is included in the analysis, in the write-up. So, a lot going on. We've got three plays, including that five-unit play in the NBA. And we cash them all. Again, we'll go to 9-0 this week, thanks to those of you who've jumped on board thus far. Let's get to it. A quick video today. we got the Mavericks taking on the Grizzlies. Uh, total's been as high as 227. It's come down a point uh, for the most part. We still like it under at 226. I think one of the reasons that this total is a little bit higher than, to me, it should be is the fact that the Grizzlies have been playing some overs as of late. Last five or six games, they've had four or five of these games go over the total. But here's the thing. The Dallas Mavericks uh, play a very deliberate pace. At least they have over the last couple of weeks of games. And you know that both teams play well on the defensive end. You've also got a Grizzlies team that normally can't shoot three-pointers, at least of late, to save their lives. So uh, we do think both defenses are going to play well. We don't trust the Memphis Grizzlies deep perimeter game, at least right now we don't. And then you look at a couple of the of the stats, of the trends, of the angles that we don't rely on, but it's sure good to have back in your side of your total. Uh, the Dallas Mavericks on a 7-0 run to the under against teams that shoot well, teams that make at least 46% of their shots. 7-0 run. They've held those teams in check. Uh, together with their own scoring, those seven games have averaged about 210 points per game, well below tonight's posted total. And one more for you, for you. Uh, from the other side is the Memphis Grizzlies, 13-2 and two run to the under. That's when they're at home playing against a team with a winning record. They usually turn it up on the defensive end. And Memphis and those 15 opponents have combined to score about 212 points per game on the season. So again, we're not big into trends, angles, uh, that kind of stuff, but it does certainly, and for good reasons support what we just talked about to kick things off, which is the way these two defenses normally play and the fact that Dallas is playing at a more deliberate pace over the last couple of weeks of games. So we're going to recommend an under uh, between Memphis and Dallas on Wednesday night. And in fact, the only thing we didn't win so far this week was yesterday's free play. So let's get back to the win column with the free pick videos. But we'll look to go to 9-0 with our premium plays this week. And again, the star of the show is that NBA 5-0 star play. All right, that's going to do it for this video for Wednesday. Again, if you like the videos, click on the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put them in the win column on Wednesday.